Welcome to part four, lesson four, part A, ties. A tie means when you change one part of a sentence, you may have to change another part. Now, English has five ties, and I'd like to show you the first one. Let's take a look at the first sentence. Lily will take a vacation next month. So, the best thing to do for us is let's first find the two X word places. Here's one, will. If I wanted to make a yes or no question, I'd put will over here. Will Lily. And now I know the subject is Lily, the word or words between the two X word places. So, let's see, is there a tie between the subject Lily and the X word will? Now, of course, there's millions and millions and millions of different possible subjects in English, but subjects in English can always be replaced with pronouns. And, of course, there's only a few pronouns. For example, I, you, he, she, it. Those are singular subjects pronouns. And then there's plural subject pronouns like we, you, and they. So, for example, let's see if we put any of these different uh, pronouns in the subject in this sentence, do we have to make any changes to the X word? So, let's try it. I will take a vacation. You will take a vacation. He will take a vacation. She will take a vacation. It will take a vacation. I haven't had to change will. Let's try with the plural subjects. We will take a vacation. You will take a vacation. They will take a vacation. It looks like I never change will because I change the subject. So, for example, all the people in the world will take a vacation or none of the people in the world will take a vacation. I can see that changing the subject does not make me change the X word will. Now, is this always true or does it change? Are there exceptions to this? So let's take a look and let's take a look at our sentence. Lily is a busy person. So again, let's mark the two X word places, one before Lily to make a question, one after to make a statement, and Lily is our subject. Lily is a busy person. Let's take a look and I'll do the same thing here. You are a busy person. Are you a busy person? And in my second sentence, you is the subject. Now I wonder, let's see, Lily is a busy person. You are a busy person. I am a busy person. I can see that in this sentence, when I change the subject, I do have to change the X word. So I'm going to say that is ties with Lily. The X word is ties with Lily. And the X word are ties with you. And I like to show these ties with two headed arrows. Just like that. So here we see that the subject Lily ties with is, or is ties with Lily, and are ties with you. Let's take a look at an, um, another sentence. She has accepted many responsibilities. Has she accepted many responsibilities? She is the subject. Has is the X word. And I'm going to say that has ties with the subject she. I can prove it to you by changing the subject she to you. Let's mark it over here too. Have you accepted? You is between the two X word places. You is the subject. When I change the subject from she to you, I also change the X word from has to have. So again, let's say that 
the X word have ties with the subject you. Okay? Let's take a look at another pair of sentences. Lily does not give up easily. You do not give up easily. So let's mark our X words. Here's the X word in the first sentence. I'd bring it here to the front to make a question. Does Lily not give up easily? Lily is the subject. And does ties with Lily. I can prove it to you because in the next sentence, which is really the same sentence, the only thing different is that I've changed the subject from Lily to you, you can see what happens. I also had to change the X word from does to do. Lily does not give up easily. You do not give up easily. We've just found the first tie in English. English has five ties. The first tie is X words tie with subjects. Of course, not all X words. We saw that when we looked at will. Will doesn't tie with any of the subjects of English. No matter what the subject is, I never change the X word will. But when I have subjects like I, they tie with X words like am, do, have, and was. Subjects that can be replaced with uh, pronouns like he, she, and it tie with X words like is, does, has, and was. You know, we can notice, for example, that all of these X words finish with S. That's kind of interesting in English. And then subjects that can be replaced with pronouns like you, we, and they tie with X words are, do, have, and was. These are the X words that tie with subjects. The other 20 X words don't. Please, complete lesson 4, part A, exercise 1. We'll go back, we'll check it, make sure it's right, and then we'll take a look at part B and we'll find the second tie of English.